All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another installment of Sunburned Albino. Basically pulls video game music out of a hat is generally how that works. Uh, I feel like the last episode was pretty much a good success. You know, we didn't get like a whole lot done. But we got a solid intro. We got a good like 50 seconds, which is pretty like... I mean, it's pretty standard for a lot of video game music. A lot of, most of it's like, you know, maybe a minute long. There's plenty of stuff that's like 17 seconds. And those, some of those are some of the most iconic things. So I would say that 50 seconds is good. So this time, I t I've taken the three topics out that we used last time to make sure we don't get any repeats. I'm not trying to, you know, we did prehistoric opening theme bells. I'm not trying to get prehistoric opening theme piano, you know? So... This time, let's uh, read our topics again. If you have not seen one of these before, we have three different prompt categories that have different uh, things in there. And then we're gonna combine them all and then create a video game music composition that embodies all of the things. So we're gonna start with the theme. This is going to be the main mood of what we end up with here. So we're going to come in here, pull something out, and we just pulled out desert. Not dessert, desert. So that's a cool theme. I'm already kind of excited for that. I've made uh, a couple songs that have sounded sort of deserty in the past. Uh, not too going to be too far out of my depth on that one. Uh, then we have event type, which this just sort of is supplementary to the main theme. This is going to be explaining sort of what's going on. You know, it could be travel, it could be shop, it could be a boss battle, it could be, you know, somebody dying, you know, something like that. Or level up, you know, whatever it is. This is the kind of thing that's going to tell you what exactly is happening in the desert at this particular moment. So we pull this out and show it to the camera. Is that upside down? You're damn right it is. And it says character theme. Okay, so we've got a desert character theme. Now, you know character themes. They're themes that play when the character shows up. Uh, if you've played a lot of Kingdom Hearts, you know that, like, a lot of the characters in that game have their own character themes. You know, like, Kyrie's got the... You know, that thing, like, that's her theme, and all those, the other ones that have stuff as well. That's event type done, and now we're gonna decide the lead instrument. What lead instrument is going to make it... It doesn't seem like these are moving at all. This is this is a very haphazard setup. This is like some arts, third grade arts and crafts stuff. Let's see. We have... If we hold it up to the camera, first of all, was it upside down? Oh my god. We got organ. That's going to be our lead instrument. That's going to be something. And a desert character theme using the organ as the lead instrument. Um, I would say that sort of complicates things a little bit. You know, if you if it had been guitar, I would have been all over it. If it would have been piano, I would have been all over it. Organ? Not an instrument I use terribly often. You know, organs for, like, churches and baseball games. So how are we going to make that a character's theme in the desert? <laughs> So, let's see. There we go, now we're finding it. such a hard thing to work with. Okay. We still gotta find the right sound, though. So, ideally something that's got a bit of a twang to it. So that it really... You know, we're looking for an, an Arabian sounding... But not that. Uh, 
Okay, now I think I have the notes nailed down. It's now we just really gotta find the. Uh... That reminds me of um, you know that Spelunky theme when you go into the Egyptian place. It's like. That's the same theme. So that that is getting it sort of on the nose in terms of nailing the theme with the chord progression. This might be a good sound. Here we have to determine what kind of character this theme is for. Like, is this gonna be like a bandito? Is it gonna be, uh, you know, like an uh, Arabian Night sort of deal? Um, is it gonna be a hero? Is it gonna be a villain? Is it gonna be like a dude who doesn't give a fuck? Like, what's it gonna do? You know what? I think we found a starting point. Do that though. When the strings are matching this, it's gonna sound like it's on purpose. Gone that far. So with that in place, we're gonna need some light and low strings. Kind of like that, now we need the organ to come back in so that we actually have... Alright, that was awful, but wait till you hear it super quiet. It didn't record it. I don't know what I was even thinking. Never mind. Uh I don't know why I had to pick something so hard. I think I think we're fighting above our weight class right now. In turn like this theme doesn't work. This, it entirely doesn't work, so we're not going to use it. We're going to play around until something happens. Remember, it's a character theme. This dude shows up, or this chick, or whoever, shows up, 
What happens? What are they doing? What kind of person are they? What do they bring to the table? I think a maybe I think we have to throw that the chord progression out the window. We have ourselves something. Arabic mixed kit, that sounds promising. Do a lot of like crash cymbal rolling, but not like that. Exactly like that, actually. All right, that's how you time that. That's cool. Guys, we're on to something. We're actually on to something now. Hallelujah. Okay, yeah, that is that. That's how you should use that. You know what I'm saying, right? Don't mess up, you had it. And it's actually starting to sound like something. Yes, yes, okay. Do not let me down. I don't know if I can take it. All right, there's something there. We gotta change it up. That's something. That's something. So then when you go in, you start with this. That's cool. Now you might listen to that and be like, what would it ever make you think that that's desert related? And the answer is just like, picture a desert right now. Did it work? I guess from this point you would do a solo. 
And you would do that with a different organ sound. Ho, mama! Show me that organ sound. Come on now. Let's do a pipe organ. I mean, that sort of works. That sound is the right sound right there. Sometimes you just gotta groove with it until it comes to you. Character theme. The character theme generally doesn't change moods. It's, you know, it's really meant to convey one emotion and that is whatever the character is, like their overall personality. And then it, it does that and then maybe it goes into like a different chord progression but that like keeps the same mood and then it'll just loop. You know, for example, like Kyrie's theme from Kingdom Hearts is just like... Let's do an actual piano. It's like, uh, how does it go? It's like... I don't remember what the chords are. Oh, it's like, uh... And then, like, it will occasionally change notes, but then when it goes into the next part, it's still, like, the exact same thing. It's with just, like, some instruments are, like, a little more muted. You know, whatever it is. And then, but like, it'll keep going and then it'll come, turn back around and it's just, it's really just conveying the same thing in a loop with just sort of different, like different instruments coming in and out to, uh, but you really got like the same thing happening. You know, we only did like one phrase, like we, uh, in the last one, we can amp this up a little bit. Like we have to record the same stuff again, which is annoying, but we could change, we could add another layer of auxiliary percussion and we could add like a little, a couple extra notes to the bass line. That's good. All right, so now we're gonna add a little more auxiliary percussion here. I think those are like finger symbols if I'm not mistaken. Who's to say? Ah, 
that's right. Go up at the end, baby. Come on. We know what we're doing a little bit. All right, but we don't know how to actually do it correctly. You got it. You know how to do it. Now prove it. Come on now. Bertoli. <laughs> you missed the last note on the high red air and higher end. Come on. Bam. All right, let's play the whole thing as it would be intended. There we I mean, you're still like, where's the desert part? It's just, all you've got to do is imagine it. Here's the deal. Visuals in video games will do 80% of the work for you. How do you think, like, uh, the sleigh bells and whatever, like, the cold sounding stuff, you know, came to be associated with a winter level? It's because people just did it until everybody accepted that that's what it was. You could make anything sound like it's in a desert if you just play it and then have a picture of a desert on the screen like it's it's very doable you can fool people that way so i think that that is close enough that were it to exist in a desert and like a char the character came up like hey what's up i'm whatever and i'm you know in a desert and i got like a bander what do you call it a, a ban bandana around my mouth like I'm a bandito or something, you know? Like, I think... You know, I don't think people would be like, wow, that music's out of place. I mean, maybe, you know, if he was like a... If he was like a happy-go-lucky bandito, you know what I mean? Because this is obviously like a, a happy, like a feel-good kind of song. I don't know, dude. You make the character and you make it sound good with my, <laughs> with my music. Why do I gotta do everything? But that's gonna do it for this, uh episode of this i hope you enjoyed it if you did uh, like share and subscribe you know let me know if you want to see more there's still a lot more different things possible combinations we could do and struggle with even more or even less depending on what happens that was desert character theme with the organ and you know tell me if you like it